Top of the hour, we have new information on the young woman killed by a lion in California. The focus is on an open cage door that likely put the animal and 24-year-old Diana Hansen at the same place at the same time. Adam Housley's on that live in L.A. Now, is this different from what we heard just yesterday, Adam? Yeah, Bill. In fact, this new information started coming out later in the day. You know, originally the thought was that Diana Hansen, the 24-year-old year old intern, had gone into the cage after hours. It was just her and another worker there, and that that was obviously against the rules. But now we're hearing that what apparently happened was the cage wasn't fully secured. The door, at least, wasn't. The cat somehow got the latch open, and it sounds like got her from behind, swiping her with his claw and breaking her neck instantaneously, that's a different account, which means that any of the claw marks and, and some of the other things that happened to her, bite marks, happened after she was dead. That's what the coroner believes. We did have a chance to hear from people at the location. Uh, they say these, this new revelation, these new circumstances of her death, very tough, of course, for them yeah, and the families to deal with, but they will fully cooperate with the investigation. Take a listen. We want to assure the community the safety protocols that are in place at the Cat Even and they were in place at the cat even. And we have been incident free for 16 years since we opened in 1998. We were cooperating fully with the Sheriff's Department in the investigation and hope we can determine exactly what happened. This has been tough, of course, for Diana's family. She said they say that she loved cats since the time she was four or five years old. She used to draw cartoons of them. The lion was a four-year-old Barbary lion called Couscous, and again, they believe that he got out of the cage, stalked her from behind, and snapped her neck with a paw swipe. Um, as you might imagine, people that knew Diana are very upset. They're very upset they've lost her and say that she was such an amazing person. Take a listen. Even though she was only with us for a little over two months, she was part of our family. She made instant friendships with everybody up here. Everybody loved her. That was the reaction from the Project Survival Cat Haven, where she was very beloved. Her father talked about that. He was interviewed yesterday via phone. You heard it here on our channel, Bill. But as you know, it's been very tough for them up there. It's a very popular area. And again, from all circumstances, they really had no issues with, with safety in the past. And they're trying to figure out how this cat got that latch open. And obviously, that latch wasn't properly secured, Bill. And it was her dream to walk, uh, work with these animals, too. Absolutely. Uh, sad in the end. Adam Housley, thank you for that. Live in L.A. today. Thank you, Adam. Here's Mark.